There we go. Now we're all good. Lord has, Lord has brought us all into this place, and now somebody else has the Snickers. <clears throat> ah, welcome everybody here to Repairing the Breach Ministries. Here, my <laughs> as the Lord has brought us together, and saw come into His house with continued joy, understanding, and focus our hearts and minds upon Him. Uh, and and uh, welcome everybody here, and those that are joining together with us online here to, to this Thursday night Bible study that our Father has brought us in here together. And as always, as He always reminds us as we come in, to come in focus upon, focused on our Father, be no distraction or disturbance, and be in continuous prayer that be no distractions or disturbances upon this place or anywhere that, that uh, others are joining together with us or that... Others join together with us online, just being continuous prayer. And uh, those that are trout, those that are still in their travels, that are planning to join together with us, being continuous, being prayer for a safe journey, a safe and swift journey for for all of them as well. And uh, and and just being this, uh, being don't be a dis, uh, distraction to anyone else, don't be a stumbling block or a hindrance to anyone that. <clears throat> That anyone else that's joining together with us, that all keep in mind to keep our hearts and minds upon our Father and upon His Word that He uh, is about to deliver to us today. So before we get started, before we get started, let's all join together in prayer, bow our heads and join together in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us and guiding and keeping us, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for... <clears throat> Uh, the, allowing us to come together once again, dear Father, for your Bible study, dear Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Father, uh, forgive us of all the sins that we've committed against you, everything that we've done, falling short, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless and guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Lord. Continue on watching over us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And as we come together, here, uh, those here and those that are joining together with us online, I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Father, to give us peace, dear Father, to, to direct our, uh, to direct your word, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, to take charge and take control of this Bible study as we join together, reminding us, dear Father, to uh, come together united in one, focused, focus on you, and, and not and uh, not to be a distraction or disturbance, not to be a stumbling block to any anyone else, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Anoint us, dear Father. Anoint this uh, coming together, the gathering of your children, the Bible study that you allow us to have. Uh, anoint that, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Blessing God. <clears throat> Blessing God and keep us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, all those that join together, all those that enter in, dear Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that they, that they let, let them know that this is your... Uh, <clears throat> And that that you are in control. Let them see that you are in control in your presence to be to be upon each and every one of us, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, remind us to uh, to to set our whole hearts upon you, dear Father, that we may be able to receive fully the word that you have for us this day, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray as well, dear Father, keep the recordings and the broadcast going on. Nothing to be cut off. Nothing to be interrupted in in in, in any way, dear Father. Bless and guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Satan, in the name of Jesus, I come against you. I, ca I cast you out of this place uh, <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. I command you to take your hands off of the off the uh, off of the the broadcast and the recording. I command you to leave all those that join together with us online to leave uh, to to take your hands off of them. That you shall not be a distraction or any kind of interruption anywhere around. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave us, all of us, and 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 not to have, not to have put any kind of distraction before us. In the name of Jesus, and dear Father, we thank you and we praise you for the power that you have given to us to cast out demons, dear Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus is to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, as we all come together, dear Father. Remind us as we all receive your word, dear Lord. That to give you all the glory and praise, to give you all the accolades, dear Father, none to fall upon myself, that there may be no temptation of pride to enter in to uh, unto your servant, dear Father. Stand and guide and keep me, 
dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I give myself to you. I let it be known today, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I let it be known right now. I give myself to you. I crucify my flesh. I empty my cup before you. I reject everything of the flesh. And I pray in the name of Jesus to use me and speak through me, dear Father. Let your word come forth clear to all of your hungry, dear Lord, that desire to hear you, to hear your word that you give to us this day, dear Father. Stand on with us and guide and keep and watch over us this day, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for allowing us to come together, allowing us to gather to gather together to study your word, dear Father, here and those are joining together with us online. In Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hey, Jesus. All right. <laughs> now we're back in Genesis. Once again, we're, we're again in Genesis. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're up, we're up up to we're gonna go over verse nine through thirteen, the third day. And last week we learned about the fir the, the the firmament and the waters, the, the dividing of the waters and the waters, the the <clears throat> and the clouds and and the uh, and and the surface water how God came forth and, and divided all that and put that in order as well and um, like I said we're going to start at we're going to go through verse 9 to, through verse uh, 13 <coughs> the third day and, uh, and, and I lost my train of thought help me Lord. oh there, sometimes I'll be reading out the King James and sometimes I'll be reading out the uh, <coughs> <clears throat> out of the NIV uh, this one in particular I'm going to start out I'm going to read out the King James and I'm going to read verse I'm going to read the whole thing verse 9 to, through 2 verse 13 and here we go uh, and and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry <clears throat> let the dry land appear appear and it was so and God called the dry land earth and gathered together the wa <clears> of <throat> the waters he called seas. And God saw it and it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth, gra bring forth grass and herb yielding seeds and, <clears throat> and, the fruit and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the upon the earth and it was so and and the earth brought forth grass and herbs you an herb yielding seeds after his kind and tree yielding fruit whose seed was <clears throat> was at, was in itself after his kind and God and God saw it and and God saw it that it was good would you give me a glass of water please and the evening and morning were the, th were the third day. Alright, now. We went over the firmament. We went over, well, we went over God, uh, Him going over the face of the waters and, and Him uh, coming and <clears throat> dividing <clears throat> the day and the night and the firmament that and dividing the firm, the, putting the firmament in place, spreading it as a sheet upon the whole earth, dividing the ground water in the, uh, in, 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 in the, in the clouds. And now here we have that he's finished with the upper part. He's finished with all of that. And now he comes to the, now he comes down and starts uh, upon the earth itself. And now <clears throat> here, where we have God said, now, once again, God putting forth His word. <clears throat> God putting forth His word, and uh, where does it, where does it say at the end of verse at the end of verse nine? And it was so at the end of verse uh, twelve. And it was so that there is nothing that there is nothing thanks, that can be done to hinder or to stop God God from. Uh, doing what he desire, what what he desires to do. There's no uh, prohibiting it. There's no hindering it. That God, when God speaks, just as and, and we'll get a little in, into a little uh, in a little further. But as just as God speaks, it 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 will be done. 
that just that with the with the church with with all of us those all of us as children everyone that has accepted Christ as a personal savior when God speaks in our lives when God and not only ours but but even though even people that have not accepted Christ as a personal savior that when God speaks over them it's going to be it's going to be done when when God speaks when the Lord speaks to you if there's a sickness or if there's a need or if there's a uh a burden on you and God speaks it off of you it's done just like here it, it <clears throat> just like here what we just what we just got what we just uh, went over where it says it was so that it, when when God speaks it there's no stopping it when, when God speaks it there's not going to be any hinder any hindering forces that to come forth out of it and now here <clears throat> God is speaking over here in verse 9 let the waters under heaven be gathered together in one place. Now here, the, the earth right now is still one big ball of, of, of water. That it's covered with it. And there's, for, for, God, to, to, for God to form, uh, form man and put him on the earth, that, that man, he, he had to prepare the earth for, for us to... to uh, be placed here that he is not <clears throat> he did not give us he didn't give us gills <laughs> he didn't give us boats <laughs> he gave me inside joke he gave us a he gave us a, um he gave us earth and when what God wants to bring forth when God wants to uh bring forth his blessings out of uh, out of us he has to it has to be prepared that when he when he calls us forth, uh, whether whether it's to teach or to preach or, or to sing or to play, anything that he calls us forth, it has to be prepared. It has to be uh, the, the the ground has to be uh, tilled. It ha the, the 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 chaos has to be uh, has to be taken away. All of that and w within each and every, within all of ourselves. That's why. Whenever we accept Christ as our personal Savior, that that that's the going back a little, going back up to verse one. That's God moving on the face of the deep. That that's God moving over us, and and when God sets the light within us and, and places everything, <clears throat> has everything in place to do so. That in order to in in, in order to uh, bring forth. The gifts that he gives to each and every one of us and in and, and, and what measure that that he sees fit for us he has to do the move on uh, on us he has to do the move with within us just like here it says God said let the waters under heaven gather into one place that we once again that we, we see that God uh, he's he's his voice where's that at for in ver turn open up to uh Psalms one oh four and put a bookmark in Genesis. Let's see, where 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 Psalms uh one oh four verse six to verse nine. Now I'll read this out. The uh, where should I read this out, Father? Verse verse six to verse nine. I'll read this out the out the uh, NIV. All right, go ahead. This is speaking of the the, the, the seas that God set as it says here that God set these boundaries up. God has set uh, where 
uh, where, where the, the, it has its limit. There, there's the, the waves come in, but they also flow out. Su- tsunamis come in, but they also there's there's a boundary that it will not that that the seas cannot cross. And uh, just as it's just as it says, where is it at? In uh, the in verse seven, it says, "At thy rebuke, the waters fled. At the sound at the sound of your thunder, they took flight." That this is the that that was the 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 firmament going on that that he's speaking or not the firmament the, the skies when he set the firmament between the waters and the waters that <clears throat> that he set the God has set the borders up uh, that as it says in verse nine that the boundaries they can't cross and it won't and and it won't be ever as it says in verse nine it says never again will they cover the earth never again will it be uh will there be in any overwhelming uh, of the the water that where there's no more land and, and there's a uh there's no, where you see nothing but water where you see uh there there be no more earth uh covering it but here when god said let the waters under heaven be gathered together into one place his voice his word that he has spoke out the word that he has said uh <clears throat> to set things in order and in for the preparation of of man that he had <clears throat> to to walk the earth that just as in in second corinthians what i believe it's second corinthians that says god is not a god god what is it god is not the author of of, of confusion that there that before be, before god has uh uh, in verse 9 where it says God said let the waters under heaven be gathered together in one place before that the earth was st- there was still uh, confusion about it. there was nothing but water uh, upon everything waves crash and there's no land to, to be uh, uh, to, to, to be had anywhere but he says he gathers it together under under gathered together under one place and he says and let the land appear and it was so that God brought forth all of this in here. I'll, I'll just go on to verse, uh, to verse 10. It says, And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And, and God saw it, and it was good. That all of this, all of this uh, happening up, upon his word, that this, the preparation of the, the, the preparation of the, uh, uh, of the earth to come forth, the preparation of the uh, of man to to set forth here, and and his preparation of the uh, of, of man preparing for him to uh, live off the land as well as to uh, as, as to maintain the land <clears throat> and to bring forth the the, the trees and, and and the grass and the and the herbs that that God has that God has done so. And all of this, keep on, keep in mind that all of this is when it is within the third day. All of this is within this time allotted that that God did not need uh, mi- millions of years, as it as it's been said, to to bring forth to for the land to uh, emerge out, out of the seas and, and for the uh, uh, for for the ground to uh, uh, for for that for the soil to be prepared. Uh, and, and and whatever it is, <clears throat> and whatever it is that 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 uh he that that needs to be done. God did not need any of that. Uh, and, and, well, God did not need any uh billions of years or, or millions of years for for uh it to be done. That he spoke his word, and just like just like uh Jesus said, and. and to, to Satan and God said to to Israel in Deuteronomy it says God man does not live by bread alone but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God this is what this is what this is uh, preparing to do that he that he sets forth in verse nine and verse ten he's saying that the dry the bringing forth the dry the the dry land uh, the gathering together of the waters that that uh, every that that How's it say in in uh where's that at in Ecclesiastes that's where it is that <clears throat> no matter how much water flows in there's no overflowing of it no matter how much rain that falls with it that 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 falls in the mountains and flows down 
to the seas that there's no overflowing of any of the you know, in uh, chapter chapter one chapter one verse <clears throat> verse seven then it says all all the rivers run down into the sea yet the sea is not full and unto the place from whence the rivers come thither they they return again that everything is that, that, that no matter how much that this is the the power of the Word of God that no matter how much it rains no matter how much the uh, no matter how much the the, the, the uh, glaciers flow into the ocean yes Say it again. Let me see where is in Ecclesiastes chapter one. What verse seven? Oh, van. That's talking about vanity. Everything is is vanity. Everything. That's what. It, that that every w without God's word, this is the words of words of the teacher, son of David, uh, king of Jerusalem. This is he's talking about van all is vanity, all is meaningless outside. I, that everything, how is that, Father? Everything that that you can do means nothing without the Lord being there, without the Lord, uh, how's it with the Lord? Without without. Uh, God giving the increase. How? How? Uh, where is that? Let me see. Where? Where is? Let's see. Which one particular you want? To, are you talking about? I'll just break down the. Well, it says everything. Oh, yeah. You, know, you mean in verse in verse two? Meaningless. Meaningless. Says the teacher, other utterly meaningless. Yeah, this the, that's meaningless uh, of human wisdom. Not of, not of God. It's not it's not saying that God's meaningless. But uh, but human wisdom in general. But here we'll go we'll go over that a little a little bit later. But here we're we're talk, here we stick on with with this. We don't want to go too far from the subject at hand. But as it says that that all streams flow into the sea, yet all the all the seas are not full. And that all of this happens, and and there's and there is no there's not any overflow like when you fill up a a, a tub before they had the uh, overflow valves in them that you would fill them up and they would flow over top and and you would have a big problem but with the sea no matter how much it rains no matter how much the uh no matter how much the, the glaciers melt no matter what goes on that that god has set a boundary for the sea god has set uh what he where the sea is going to end, where that that the earth was not going to be flooded over, uh, just like with with uh, just like with uh, Noah. That there you see that that God, why God has set had set forth uh, the land, and the earth, that because with, with Noah that he over he overflowed the earth with uh, with water. He over <clears throat> And everybody that was not in the ark, everybody that was not uh, protected in there, uh, died off. That they drowned, they drowned away. This is this is where that this is where that confusion is coming for. That that went without without God uh, setting forth His word, without God preparing things, without God protecting you, just like with Moses, that that you will be overwhelmed with. Uh, with the flood that come, that 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 will come forth <clears throat> all around you, that there's all there's always there's in this setting and in, in this here that that what we just read the 
God setting water, uh, setting a border for the water. This also goes for, goes to, thank you, Lord. This also goes to with us in, in our walk with him. That all around us, just like with the earth, just like w with the land, there's water all around. That, just like with all of us, that there's demons all around. That Satan is continuously going to try to attack, going to try, going to try to, uh, to to try to distract, to try to get us to move away from God. And God has set that boundary uh, with with Satan as well, just like with Job. That that. Satan went to God and said, and, and, and he told, and Satan told, uh, here I'll turn, let's turn to it real quick. He told God that it's all, that he only gives you that glory and praise because you have set, because you set that fence around him. Where is that at? Uh, let's see, let's see if I can find it real quick. I know it's in chapter one. There it is in chapter one verse ten. It says in Job chapter one verse ten, Hast thou hast thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath made <clears throat> on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. That that's where ooh, something in mind. That's where that, that that's the boundary that God has set uh, upon Satan, not to mess with Job, not to mess with anything that he has. Because here, up in just up in uh, where is that at? Just up in verse seven, he God is asking Satan. He says, "The Lord said to Satan, Whence comest thou?" And then Satan answered the Lord and said, "From going to, from going to, and fro in the earth," and said unto Satan. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou not, hast thou considered my servant Job, and the, that there is none like him in the earth, <clears throat> a perfect and upright man, one that feareth, feareth God and is and the sueth, the sueth evil. That God has set that bound. That Satan is all around us, but just like with the oceans, just like with the with the seas, that. There's that boundary they cannot cross. There's that, that it's that protect. Once you accept Christ as your personal savior, one that that there is that, that Satan cannot. Uh, how is that, Father? Satan cannot overwhelm you. Overwhelm you. He he can't overflow you with with whatever it may be burdens or or, or uh, worries or sickness or, or doubt. He can't. He can pester you with it. He can bother you with it, just like with the with the water with the waters that God set forth these waters and gave them boundaries. But there's still uh, floods that happen. There's still tsunamis that happen. That, but all of that flows back. That it it it, it can create uh, confusion and, and destruction. But it's all set back just like with Satan in, in, in our lives when we walk with God that Satan can cause confusion all around us he can uh, try to um, how is it father he can try to distract us but there's still that fence that God has set around us where he cannot where Satan cannot enter in into into uh, into us that that he can't make a, he can't make his home in us, like like just like whenever we before we accepted Christ as your, as our personal savior, God Satan had made his home in us, and all those that have, those that do not know Christ, Satan ha, has made their home, his home in them. He dwells within within them. That's where that confusion. That's where all that that uh, how is it, Father? The the uh, uh, the the, the the stress of wanting to find something to fill that light, to fill that void that Satan, uh, hold on, that, that Satan, uh, Satan is filling that and, and filling that with confusion, filling that with darkness. That every that everyone that does not know Christ as their personal Savior has that within them. But once you accept Christ, he, God sets that border where Satan cannot come in and, and occupy occupy the light that He has put within you. Yes.
Yeah, we're back in Genesis. <laughs> but that's but that's where we're that's where we are now. God is setting forth. God is moving the waters away from the land. God is bringing forth this land and uh, in this thing he says and God called and God called the the earth. God called the dry land earth. Once again, that that's it. There's His wisdom, in that He knows that the. the he knows what to what he wants to call what how he wants to call it and he says and and the gathering together of the water he called seas and god saw it and it was good all of that that he has done all of that that he has done is good all of that that he has done there because once again you have to weigh the per the the the, the like whenever there's laws or whenever there's something made you have uh, rules or something you have to weigh the per the 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 uh, how the person is themselves whether they're good or whether they're e whether they're evil and then you will see the the true the the true uh how's that father the 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 true uh meaning of what they of what they're uh of the laws or or what they say or, or their their state their uh their things that they do. Is within a person that God, God, it, like when Christ, when somebody told, called Jesus good, and He says, "There's none good but God." This is what that's what He's taught. There's God cannot make anything bad, evil. There's no evil within Him. There's no uh, <clears throat> there's no darkness within God. And now here in verse eleven, He says, "God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seeds." 11 and 12 herb yielding herb yielding seeds and fruit uh, fruit tree after his kind and uh, whose seed is after his kind and it says and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seeds and that God's God's word has come forth into action again that God has prepared the earth to uh for man and for the and for and for animals to where he he says where is it at in in Genesis <clears throat> and this is that. Whoops, that's way too far. In Genesis, where where he says uh, in uh, chapter one, verse uh, verse twenty nine. And this is that. Th this is that where where we said that. Um, that. Oh man, I just lost my. <laughs> help me with this, Father. That the man does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Here in verse 29, when he's talking to um, Adam, he says, God said, Behold, I have given you every herb, herb every herb bearing seed, which is on, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree, which is, which is the fruit, which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it, it shall be for me. That the words God spoke, uh, let let there be. Uh, did he say let there be? That God said, yeah, let the earth. He said, well, I said let the earth. This is where man is going to live. This is how man is is going to live by by the word of God. God has prepared everything. God has prepared for him to uh, to receive it. And just in the same way with the church, and same in the same way in our and and. and in the lives of those that have accepted Christ as their personal Savior, God has set forth, and God has God has prepared for it to be received. All that needs to be done is for us to see it and and, and to and to uh, receive it. That there's one there's one thing about uh, no uh, hearing some hearing a. a, a the Lord speak through somebody saying to you, saying to somebody, maybe uh, you're you're going to be uh, uh, an an engineer, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be a lawyer, you're going to be whatever it may be. But it's one thing to hear it, but it's a whole other a whole other thing to receive it. That God set forth the 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 herbs and the fruit trees before Adam and Eve but if they did not if they did not go to the tree and receive all of the all of that substance that God has get that God had given them then it would be no good for any of them if if they if, if they uh <clears throat> did not maintain the 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 
the conditions that God has set before them, which you read on even on further about them, which you see then that it would be it would be not, it would be worthless too. And in the same thing, in the same way with us, God may God w will speak things in our lives. God will put things before us, but if we do not, if, if we only hear it and we don't receive what God has said, where, where God, where God uh, said, "Behold, I, I have given you," <clears throat> there there will be no. <clears throat> excuse me. There 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 will be no. Uh, it will, it will it will be help me with this father it, it will be no use for us it will be just like the the talents that would that uh, the the parable of the talents that God gave one what well, was it five gave one three and gave one one talent that the one that had one talent buried it in the earth did nothing with it he received he 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 re, he, he got it in his hand but but he didn't receive it in the way that it, it was to be received that he didn't receive it in 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 uh in multiply it just like the one with five and, the, and the, the the person with five talents and the person with three talents it was not re it was not uh used in a way that it, it to, to his benefit and it's the same thing when god sets forth blessings in our lives when god uh tells us that that uh when, when god tells us that he has given us whatever it may be But this, the, the 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 herb yielding seeds and, and and the fruit trees, all of this, all of the blossoming, all of the uh, all of the the, the 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 growing of it. This is this is coming forth before the 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 sun and the stars and, and the moon. The, well, the sun in general. The the uh, what is that? Photo photo photosynthesis. All of that is coming for and because here that God does God is not does not doesn't need uh, yes oh you'll learn that later on in school it's it's uh, it's how it's how the uh, it's how the the plants make uh, make food they get it from the sun and they convert it in, into energy and and uh, and they grow and but here God does God isn't needing that God's it, it's over. God, it's oh God's light. God Himself is over it, and just like in, in our life as well, that He's that that he, when He says that every that we live by well, how how Deuteronomy and and Jesus says, man lives by not my bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That God is the source of of strength. He's the source of of growth. It's the same way here with, with the plants and with the trees and with the herbs, with all of the fruit trees and everything like that. They, they, God, God himself, himself is the source of that nutrients. God himself is the source of the strength that that's, that's the first miracle grow that he brought them forth and, and, and growing in a way that, that nobody, that no one can. And then just, uh, and turn to uh, was that Hosea? That's after. I believe it's after Daniel. Let me see. Flip to it. I think it's right after Daniel. Jose. Hosea. <laughs> You're gonna say, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right Hosea, um, chapter two, verse twenty-one, verse twenty-one and twenty-two, and this is and, and this is God Himself. That this is the Him, the the restoration of Israel. And this is what He's saying. To, he's saying, uh, and it shall and it shall come to pass in that day, I will hear, saith the Lord, I will hear, and this is out the King James. I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth, and the earth sh shall hear the corn and the wine and the oil, and they shall and and they shall hear hear Je Jezreel. And uh, in the let's see, what's it? Oh, it says in the in the NIV it says respond. It says I will. 
and says that in the day, in the day I will respond, I will respond, declares the Lord, respond to the skies. And this is the, this is God giving everything that's needed. That once that when Israel comes back to God, that God is going, that God is going to give them, give them the blessings once again. Uh, that that once they plant, once they plant, he's, God's going to cause it to rain, and the rain is going to cause the soil to to uh, uh, hydrate the soil. The soil is going to nourish the the uh, nourish the, the the plants that are planted by by Jezreel, and <clears throat> and all of that is is because of God. All of that is. And, and, and this the same way when 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 God when God hears us, that just like when uh in, when when Peter was uh when, when Peter was walking on the water, that once he seen the storm all around him, it started over. It, he started sinking. The water was going to overwhelm him. The water was going to come back. He was going to drown in it. And he yelled. He yelled, "Save me!" And God saved him. And the same thing with uh with with Jehoshaphat. And the king of it, and the king of Israel. Once he, when they were fighting against Syria, the Syrians, uh, Je Jehoshaphat put on the king of Israel's uh, his robe and his clothes, and 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 the and the, Sir and, and the king of Syria said, "Don't don't bother with anybody, small or big, just the the king of Israel." And they surrounded him. And when they surrounded him, Jehoshaphat yelled yelled to God to save to save him, and God heard his voice. And God gave, and, and God saved them, and they turned back from them. They they turned away from them. And this is the same, and, and here is the same way that God is going to provide all that is needed. And the in the way that that he that he spoke to the uh to to for the where's it where in verse uh, eleven where it says God said, let the earth bring forth. Uh, the, the the grass and the herb yielding seeds and trees bearing fruit in the same way that that, that was the same that was the exact the, the same power that was demonstrated whenever Christ went to the fig tree to get figs off of it in in Matthew and I believe it's in Luke as well that that where, where he said where, where Christ well here we turn to it Ma turn to Matthew chapter twenty one Matthew oh that's Luke. Chapter twenty one verse nineteen. Wait, was that one? Yeah, and and I'll read this uh let's see. I'll read this out the N the the uh NIV. It says seeing the fig tree by the road. He went up he went up to it but found nothing except leaves. Then he said to it, may, may you never bear fruit again, and oh, immediately the tree withered. Right when God speaks, right when, right when God speaks and, and, and said, let, there be, let the trees bring forth trees, it's like immediately when Christ spoke and said, let the tree, uh, no fruit to bear on that tree again and, and immediately it withered the same way he speaks uh, <clears throat> his power speaks in our lives that once one, once somebody accepts Christ as a personal savior he speaks to he, he, he speaks life into them he they become uh, a, a living spirit instead of walking in that uh, dead dryness and the darkness uh, that that they were in uh, in their life that they that they come forth and bring forth they come, uh, God brings life to them. The same way he said, let the earth bring forth trees. <clears throat> and he, say, he, he, he speaks to, to the lives of all of us, to all of us and bring, to, to bring forth life in, I, life in, in, our, in our spirit. <laughs> life in our life. Life in our spirit. That instead of being dead and, and dried up and, withered, and withering away, that we have life. We have uh, the, his 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 light around us and here in the same way that that God does not need any other light any other uh, light source to bring forth life <clears throat> upon the earth upon these trees upon the grasses and the 
in, in, in the where the fruit trees and in, in the herbs and the grasses being prepared for all for for uh, all of us to receive that God does not need any other any other means in our lives to to, to bring forth uh, to to uh, bring life to our spirit. He doesn't need any artificial means to uh, uh, bring uh, to to, to uh, fill out to fill our spirits uh, to to move the darkness away, to move the confusion away, to move the 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 uh, ignorance away, to move the foolishness away. That God Himself can will, will do it Himself when He when He speaks in our lives. And now here and here <clears throat> and and now with all of this. With all of this, that God is, is that, that this is where it comes for that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That God spoke everything, and at, and as, and we'll get on to it even further on once we move on into the fourth, what is that fourth, fifth, and sixth day. That God is, that that everything that that is on the earth, God has done it. God has made it. God has prepared it uh, for for his children for his for his uh his children to receive it. well for everyone to receive it. everyone not and and it's not only it's not only uh everyone that has accepted christ as a personal savior it's even those that that have that have not even those that aren't saved yet that uh i can't remember where it is in the bible that where it's the the uh how, how does it say that the the rain falls on it or the sun, oh man, I can't remember what it says now. What is it? No, now his thoughts are hard and I thought that he'd bring. Might be the same, might be the same uh, section though. Where is it? I can't remember, where is that at? Um, let me see. That. Uh, I can't remember where that's at. But, it, but God bring God shines the sun on, on those that are saved and those that are not saved. He, yeah, he lets he he brings forth the rain on those that are saved and those that aren't saved. He's that they he he lets j just like with uh what well, no never mind just like with with the he gives everyone that chance. He's given everyone that chance to accept Christ as their personal savior. To give everyone that chance. You find that oh uh, where's it at? He gives everyone the chance to uh to do to to uh. To walk with him, to to have to for him to move in their lives. Where's it, where's that at? I was thinking that was in the Old Testament. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was thinking of. Flip over to Matthew, chapter five. Forty-five. Hey, there it is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I don't know why I thought it was in the Old Testament. I thought it was in Psalms. And there's it. Him, that was way off. It says that. And I'm reading, I'll read this out that uh, King James. That ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and the good. And sendeth, and sendeth rain on the just and unjust. That God had. God. When, when God has prepared this earth and. All the speaking that he's doing, all the things that he's doing, the preparation, he's given it. He's given everyone, given it to everyone to receive off of. And and now he's he, and even in the Old Testament, those that those that worshipped idols, they 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 can't. They lived off the earth. They they grew plants. They they uh, they hunted. They they. Uh, built homes they did all of they did all of that as well that god god has set this forth for everyone to receive to 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 how is it, to reap the, the benefits of it and 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 today that this is that all everyone that accepts christ as a personal savior will just have has that uh the uh the, the, the favor of God set upon them for that simple fact that they that we have uh, heard heard his call we have ex uh, accepted uh, Christ as our personal savior and God shines down on us uh, the, his blessings that he that that he has prepared 
for for us to receive that we're open up to receive that but here when he it, when he how is that when, when he uh spoke all of this into being when he created all of this when he grew the plants without without the the the, the uh sun that we that we see every day before he created that that he grew the plants he was uh the the, the cultivator of it that he gave this all to, to to all of us and all of that that he saw in verse once again verse 12 at the end of that he says god saw it and it was good and verse 13 says and the evening and the morning were the third day it only took uh that 12 tw 24 <laughs> wait wait 12 wait 24 hours 24 12 no this is the this is the third day that it only took it only took that day for God to do all the thing all of these things for for the to set to to set set in order the compute the 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 flood the the, all, the earth being absorbed with all the water set that set the borders in line to uh bring the earth up to to cultivate the land to uh well, to speak it into being and into speaking the, uh, the, 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 the plants and the trees into being uh, for all of us and all of that he has done. It, 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 he As it says, he saw it and it was good. Because once again, God does not do, doesn't do anything bad. God does not do anything uh, in, in that, in out of order either. All right, everybody got it. Any questions? Statements? Anything need to be said? All right, praise God. Here we go, man. Anyone put out to set forth the invitation of, of discipleship that anyone that desires to accept Christ as their personal Savior, come on forth and, and to accept Christ as your personal Savior. We we'll welcome you in to the family of God, being one of His children. Just in the same uh, same aspect that that once if it, if somebody online wants to accept Christ as their personal savior, if somebody online in in, in your heart wants to accept Christ you, as your personal savior, you can do so. And anyone, whether here or online, if you want to accept Christ as your personal savior, don't do it because you're being nagged or you're being bugged by a loved one or a spouse or or friends. Do it because you want to do it. Have the, it, it you have to. Have, feel it in you have to have feel that call of, of, upon yourself not because you're being pushed to do it but online those are joining together with us online if you want to accept christ as your personal savior there's no need to uh, uh for, for any long speeches uh any any preparation that you that, that that needs to be done there's no need for any of that that you can't prepare yourself that if you're feeling that if you have that if you feel God calling you, calling your name, and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, you can do so. All you have to do is what, what you can say within yourself or out loud. You can say, "Just Jesus, come into my heart. I know I'm a sinner. I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior." That's all that need. That, that's all that needs to be done. Once you, once you do it with your whole heart, that you're saved. Once you do it with your whole heart, you, your home is in heaven. And once you do it with your whole heart, that God is. God has turned turned the the, the the darkness away. He has turned His light on in your life. Like I said, you, you don't. All you have to say is, "Jesus, come into my heart. Save." I know I'm a sinner, and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. And that's all that needs to be said. And once you accept Christ as your personal Savior, pray and ask God to, to send you to a church that He has prepared for you. Now here we repair the breach ministries. We welcome you to continue on joining together with us, whether it's online or in person, uh, for Bible studies and, and, and church service and whatever other service that our Father would have us uh, to, 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 to have to broadcast on, on online. 
that we welcome you to join together with us here online or or here in in, in person but it has to be god's choice for you it can't be your own <clears throat> it can't be the choice your own choice god knows where he would have you to go for for the growth that he would have you to do and and, and for the faith that the, the strengthen you in, in in the and how he would have you to be strengthened so pray I want you to accept Christ as your personal Savior. Pray and ask God to, to, to send you to a church that he has ready for you. And when you end your prayer from this point on, when you end your prayer, end it in the name of Jesus. And say, and, and just end your prayer in the name of Jesus. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and uh, lastly, if, if you desire if you want to if, if you if the lord have you to join together with us in person uh we we uh we come we come together to holiday and express uh the reams elizabethtown exit off of route 283 uh, on, on sunday uh we'll start a broadcast at 12 30 we'll be coming together we'll be coming together and we'll start service as well at 12 at 12 30 barring any interruptions <clears throat> Welcome you to come on down. Welcome you to join together with us, whether, like I said, whether online or whether in person, uh, to, to sing in praises and playing, uh, uh, sitting at his feet, sitting at his table, receiving everything that he has for us to receive, and the fellow and fellowship in together as well with one another. But to, we welcome you to to come on, join together with us, if that's God's will for you. And lastly, uh, if there's any prayer requests. So if you have any prayer requests, send them on in. Our prayer, our email address is prayer at rtbministries.us. Now send them on in. We'll pray over them on your behalf. Once again, it's prayer at rtbministries.us. If you have any prayer requests that you desire to be, anything that you desire to uh, be prayed over. All right. And nothing else. If all hearts and minds are clear, let's all bow our heads be dismissed out dear father we thank you and we praise you dear lord for being with us for god ain't keeping and standing on with us dear father in the name of jesus we thank you dear father for continuing on blessing us and and, and and allowing us to come together dear father and i pray in the name of jesus as we leave out dear father as we separate and go our and go our uh, separate ways dear lord i pray that continue bringing that cornerstone in our lives dear father Bless us, dear Lord. Guide and keep us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Fight our battles and give us the victory over this world. Keep us injury-free in our activities, dear Father, uh, as well. Keep uh, uh, out of all dangerous situations. Fight our battles, dear Father, and give us the victory. And open our eyes up, dear Lord. Let us see the, 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 uh, the victories that you give us, dear Father, the favor and the blessings that you bestow upon each and every one of us, dear Lord. And... and once again, and then, dear Father, I pray just to guide and keep and stand on with us, uh, the families, that, that all of us, all of your children, all of us, your family, dear Father, your children, dear Father, bring us together, united, keep us united in one, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, and put a smile upon each of, uh, upon our faces and a song upon our, upon our hearts, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. And once again, I pray, dear Father, just to uh, just to be with us, dear Father, and allow us to come together on Sunday and as well next week next thursday for your bible study dear father in jesus name we thank you and we praise you dear father in jesus name we pray amen yay jesus